All right, let's fix up our character's quest log so we can display the details if we're out on the road and we want to see what did they want us to do again. All right, so I'm going to show you all a, a really neat trick. Uh, I'm going to go into the quest screen right here where we set all that up before, and I'm going to copy that. Now you can just copy that whole canvas panel. I'm going to go into my quest log, and then I'm going to paste it to this big canvas panel, the very first one. So I'm going to just paste it right there and boom it takes everything just like that can't beat that that's quick and these are all still set up as variables so they'll be added to our list so that we can adjust them all got our scroll box the description box still a variable so once we compile everything then we can just run right in here So we can get our accepted buttons. Oh, let's go into our quest log icon. That's right. Quest log icon. So on hovered in here. Here's where we're going to do the hover. All right. So on hover. Now we're going to need a reference to that quest log. So I'm going to put quest log underscore w this will be a reference to our quest log widget object reference compile I'm going to get that so now in our quest log we can add a variable called quest details that will be a quest info structure and we'll add another one called highlighted just like we did the last time that'll be a boolean alright so now in the log we're just going to set quest details to our quest info just like that now over in the quest log, we can set up all the, the stuff. So I uh, want to custom event called check details again. And we're going to grab the quest name, get that, the quest description description box quest description the gold display so the quest name we're gonna set the text we'll break open our quest info that we just set up get out of here get up there get down here I guess actually better yeah quest name hooked up description box set text Quest description hooked up. All right, now the gold display. Oh, it's already out. I don't know why I'm grabbing it. All right, set text for gold. Gold. Now let's take a look at our quest screen one more time. So right here. We could really just copy a lot of this. But I'm going to do it again just in case you want to see it. Some people like to go through the process multiple times. But I am going to look because I'm forgetful. Alright. So back in the quest log. from the quest details that's right all right so here from the reward for each loop get data table row we're going to loop through here the data table is going to be our item info the array element will do enum to stringy hook it up like this 
row found, create widgets. The widget will be the rewards panel icon, just like last time. And we will set its item info to what it finds in our data table row. And our rewards panel is here. And we will add child to uniform grid. If I remember correctly, that one was the one that went left to right. So it's column that we need, yes. So I'm going to promote that to a variable called column. And then we will increment it. Increment int. Oh, that's horrible. Okay. Oh, and then we need to add, create word panel icon, and then we need to add it to that, that there. So now every time we check the details, we also want to clear the children from the rewards panel. And set column back to zero. So that every time we check it, we're good. Compile that. So now over here in the quest log icon, after we hover the button, we can cast to that widget and tell it to check the details now so it'll display everything. And also set highlighted to true. Because we can do the same thing in here. We can hide, uh, hide this entire canvas panel with one, one boolean. So visibility bind create binding, branch it up, highlighted, if true, you are visible, if not, you are hidden, just like that, compile that, now, we'll take a little look, so it's hidden right now, because I don't have any quests to even highlight, so let me go grab a couple of them, so that I can get out on the road and be forgetful and be like, wait, what was I doing? I saw something shiny. It distracted me. All right. It's... You're not doing... Okay, why you know... Oh, access none trying to read property quest log. Ah, okay, I'm an idiot. Okay, so in the quest... Log... Log, the actual log. In the event graph, when we create the button right here we need to set reward panel icon where my reward panel icon so I'm just gonna add a widget ref here no that's not right what am I doing quest log icon this is where we needed it, on hovered. Right, so the quest log icon. So quest log, not the rewards panel, the quest log icon up here. I'm a fool. Okay, so this is the accepted panel, and we need to set quest log widget. Get a reference of ourself. Now that will allow us to actually call that the event because it knows which widget to do it to. So I'm going to grab them both, run away, get distracted. That's right, she wanted three green herbs. Oh, and he wanted me to hit that dummy five times for five million dollars. That's a million dollars a hit. So there we go. One more little thing we can do in our play a blueprint is when we do all this let's get the player controller so this is on our quest screen action event we can set the input mode to game and UI here the widget to focus is our quest widget and then we'll set show mouse cursor to true Gonna grab that player controller and copy it, paste it up here so I can set input mode back to game only. 
and set show mouse oh, monsieur mouse cursor mouse cursor all right it's back to false all right and now yeah that's working all right let's take a quick little look see make sure it's doing as it should should be because we just checked it but yeah that's good that's perfect all right so now if I actually oh let me complete that quest oh that was not completed all right so we got our target practice got our alchemical romance that I still got that I've already completed and the target practice that is done so now we can add as many quests collect whatever kill whatever that we want and that's all good so, I'm extremely forgetful, so I feel like there's more to the quest system that we need to do, but for right now, I think that's pretty good on the quest system, and let's move on to crafting system, because that sounds fun, and I figured it out, so let's do that. I'll see y'all soon. <laughs>